In this video, I show you how to get custom alarm sounds on your iPhone. Let's get right into this guide. The first thing we need to do is actually go and get an app in order to go and create custom alarm sounds. So go and open up the app store like so, and then go to the bottom right and go and tap on search. And the app we need is called GarageBand. Now this app is actually made by Apple and you may well have heard of it before. So go and search for it just like so. And if you already have it on your phone, that's great. So go and open it up and go and download it. I've already got it. Then once it's gone and downloaded, all we need to do is go and press open. And your phone will have to rotate because GarageBand is a horizontal app. Now when you first go and open up GarageBand, either you're going to be on your recent screen or your screen may look, look something like this, it doesn't matter. However, if you're on this sort of file explorer, then all you need to do is tap on the plus button in the top right like so, and then you'll be on this page here. Then what you need to do is make sure tracks is selected and what you need to do is go and look for audio recorder. There are quite a few instruments to go and look at so it may take a while to scroll through but once you've gone and found it then just go and tap on it like so and here we are. And now to explain how this guide is going to work what we're going to go and do is go and get the sound which you want to go and set your alarm as on another device that could be an old phone, a friend's phone, a computer, a laptop, a TV, literally anything and then as you can see we can go and point our iPhone towards the sound you want to go and record and then we can go and tap the recording button above to start recording it's really simple so all you need to do is tap ok like so and make sure clean is selected and what i recommend doing is there's going to be this sort of clicking sound and so to and so to stop that to the right of the red button which is the recording button there's this sort of instrument in blue tap on it and it's going to be gray just like i did there and that's disabled and once you've done that you then need to go to the top right and go and tap on the gear icon which is the settings Firstly, you want to go and disable metronome and count in, so just make sure they're both switched off like so. And then after you've adjusted that, below the settings cog, you're going to see these sort of numbers which go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, and it ends at 8, and there's a plus button on the far right. Go and tap on that plus button just to make this a little bit longer. What I recommend is increasing this because otherwise the song or the, the alarms can be really short, so just increase it uh, as high as you want really. I'll just put mine to 30, then press back, and now I'm all ready. So I've gone and found a song which I want to go and record on my computer. So now what we need to do is make sure you minimize any background noise because that's all going to be picked up And so then what you want to do is go and press on the record button as you go and play the sound with the volume quite loud Just so your phone easily go and picks it up. So I'm going to go and do that now um, I'm gonna go and press the record button and then start playing the sound and then once you're happy with what you recorded All you need to do is go and press on the square Which is the stop button and that is going to be to the left of the recording button And then it's gonna go and stop it and as you can see I recorded for about 10 seconds You can then go and press on that play button right in the middle to the left of the recording button to go and listen back to what you just recorded. So now that you've done that, what you need to do is go over to the left and go and press on that downwards arrow in the top left like so, and then press on my songs. Then it's gonna go and say saving. But it is important to note that your files are gonna look slightly different because I've gone and made songs on GarageBand before. So what I recommend doing is finding the most recent time. As you can see, this was uh, today at 118 and it's now 124, which is when I've sort of set it up. Then all you need to do is hold your finger on it like so, and then you're gonna go and get this pop up here. And what you need to do is scroll down this list here and see the option for share, tap on share. Then as you can see, you've got these three different options. What you need to do is press on ringtone. I know it says ringtone and not alarm, but don't worry, ringtones also work on alarm, so press ringtone. Then we can go and name this, so I'm just gonna go and name this YouTube guide. Then once you've named it, you can then go and press export, just like so, and it's now exporting. And as you can see, it now says ringtone export successful. So now what I'm going to do is go and show you how you can go and use the alarm sound. So let's go and open up the clock app, just like so, and go to alarms, and then go and tap on the create button in the top right, like so. Then you can go and set the time if you'd like, but I'm gonna go straight to sound. As you can see, scroll down to ringtones, and at the top, these are gonna be custom ringtones you've made, and as you can see, here is YouTube Guide. I can then go and tap on it, and I can go and listen to it, and then you can go and press back, and now when your alarm goes off, that sound is gonna be played, it's that easy. If you guys found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like, peace.